Hello world. Today we're back with the Python OpenCV Media Pipe Library to do some advancements to my fist detection code, which you can watch uh, from my previous video by clicking here, and to show some pose estimation code still using the Media Pipe Library. I can't do them both at the same time yet because my laptop will uh, catch on fire and will explode. So I'm just waiting for my YouTube channel to get big enough for a future sponsor to give me a new advanced computer. But until then, I'll, I'll show them separately. And so, so let's check out the uh, advancements I made at the FIST detection code first. But before we do that, welcome to the 138th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. So let's look at the FIST detection code. So in the last video, we were able to um, track our fist, and uh, it just said fist. And now I've made it where it can detect the left fist and the right fist. So there you go. So the code starts to break down because basically what I did was if it's a fist in the first half of the code, if my index finger is in this half, then it's one side. If it's in the other, and so if I did, was fighting somebody with Kung Fu who tried to use this type of fighting style, um, well, actually, it still works. Oh, there it goes. See how it switched? This is my left hand, and watch it become my right hand. So basically... Uh, but either way, if you've ever been in a real fight, um, some of the martial arts that do choose a... Uh, anytime the hand's real far out and cross like this, it's probably not very effective in a real street fight. So um, the, the code right now where it says left and right fist, that's for you, the audience, and the red bounding box. There's no reason to have that in a heads-up display. Um, and so I'll get rid of that. But I will use it to help um, make decisions. So um, that's how you detect it right here. And we'll go through the code shortly. All right. Right and left fist. So I'm not going to go through the code that we've done uh, in the last video. So make sure you watch that. But I'll show you where I made the changes. So if you remember, we got the index, uh, the X, and the Y coordinates of our index finger. Um, the middle, our pinkies, and the bottom of our hand. And if that index finger was above the bottom of my hand, but below the middle of my hand, then that's a fist. And so we put these red uh, boxes around both the right and left um, fist by tracking our index. The starting point is our index, X and Y, our index finger. And then our pinky, the X coordinate of our uh, pinky, and then the bottom Y coordinate of our hand bottom. And that gives us the red bounding box. Then what I did is I'm using a default frame for CV2, which is 640 by 480. So the width is 640. So I said if the X coordinate of my index finger is less than 320, then that is my right hand. So if it's greater than it, then it's my left hand. And all I did was created two text, the left fist warning, which says left fist, the right fist warning, which is right fist. And then I made it slightly bigger with a uh, font size of one. And that's for a better thumbnail. So that's all I did. Basically, if it's, you know, less than 320, it's my right hand, my right fist, anything else is my left hand because if you only have two options you don't have to do L if and so that's how I did that so pretty easy but pretty important to me to track the right and left fist um, so let's comment this out and then I'll show you how easy it is to do the uh, pose detection using the media pipe library so here we go I'm going to close that and then run this Okay, so here we are with the pose detection. Um, my frames per second should drop because my laptop sucks. Uh, let's see if I can uh, 
get you my body. There we go. All right, so what we're doing is we're seeing the hand connections of the pose detection. And what those are is right here. So there are 33 pose landmarks. Uh, you saw the first half of them. I didn't show you my legs, but this is kind of uh, an example from the Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like if you had a if I had a better computer. Um, current state of the art approaches rely primarily on powerful desktop environments, um, real time performance on most modern um, desktops, laptops. So I do not have this yet. The memory of my computer gets eaten up, but that's kind of what you can do if I had a dedicated computer to this. So let's go through the code, and it's actually quite easy, especially since we've already been through the media pipe library. So um, this is the code from the last video. So we're going to import media pipe as MP. Um, we're going to set our video capture to one, which is webcam, but zero is your built-in webcam. Um, 30 frames per second is what I set the capture at. Um, we're going to create the. Uh, um, this is the. These two right here, this is what we use for finger and fist detection. So um, if you're building onto that, go ahead and include that. Then we're going to use the MP draw. So MP capital draw equals MP dot solutions dot drawing underscore utils for utilities. Then the pose detection, you just create a variable, which we did MP underscore pose equals MP dot solutions dot pose. All right. Then in our while loop for starting the um, starting the code, let me comment out this. So um, we're not going to use the font because I com commented out the text. Um, we are going to set the um, the frame rep frame equals cap dot read. Then we're going to create the hands frame equals cv2 dot cvt color. Pass it the frame. And the pose detection uses RGB just like the hands detection. We're not going to use this. The results equals hands dot process and then pass it the hands frame. But we are going to uh, skip all the hand detection code. And then you're just going to do pose equals MP underscore pose, which is what we uh, established here. Dot capital pose. And then you're going to pass this min underscore detection underscore confidence equals 0.5. And then the, mining track, the minimum tracking confidence to 0.5 as well. Now you can play with these, um, but these are the default from the documentation. Then you're going to, just like the hands detection, where we did the results equals hands.process, we're going to do the pose results equals pose.process, still in the hands frame. Then we're going to draw. So if you saw the um, yellow lines, the uh, connections, and the pink dots, which are right here, these are the connections, and these little red dots are the uh, landmarks. So you're going to do MP draw, capital draw dot draw landmarks, draw underscore landmarks. You're going to pass it the hands frame. Then in these pose results, we want the dot pose underscore landmarks which is just like we did up here with the hands landmarks, right? So we drew the landmarks on the hands frame, the hand landmarks, then we drew the hand connections. We're going to do the same thing. The pose results dot pose landmarks and the MP pose dot pose connections, all in capitals. And then you just do a CV2 I am show, the image show. Uh, this is just the project and then the hands frame, right? And then that's it. So really just those couple codes to do the pose detection. So that are that is the progress of my fight analysis. Um, if you didn't watch the previous video, please do. But basically, I'm trying to recreate the fight scene in uh, Captain America Civil War, where Iron Man and Captain America fight. And Iron Man's getting beat up. So he does fight analysis on Captain America, and he's able to retaliate. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to keep watching me build this project. Um, watch me build my digital assistant named Shane. Uh, like this video and then leave a comment. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.